Just a warning, in this video I show you how I fix my speakers. I'm not a professional. I don't know if I practice the safest methods. And in fact, if this video makes you feel like you can fix your speakers and you hurt yourself, I'm not reliable because I warned you I'm not a professional, so good luck. In this video, I carefully take my speakers apart with a battery powered drill. I test my tweeters and subwoofers with the multimeter to see if they're blown. I research what speaker specs to look for when purchasing new speakers, and then I successfully repair my speakers. First, let me tell you what happened. I was at a gig the other day, and I realized as I was packing up that one of my speakers wasn't sounding right and found out what do you know? What do you know? What do you know? At the same time, the subwoofer went out on this one and the tweeter still worked on this one the tweeter went out and the subwoofer still worked when i played them both together at the gig it sounded like it was totally fine it didn't sound like it was messed up at all i cracked these babies open and i did some investigating online you gotta get yourself one of these bad boys, all right? This tests your own. Ohms or impedance. Since impedance is a measure of how much the speaker resists current, the lower the impedance in ohms, the more power the speaker will draw. Once I busted out my multimeter, it was time to open my speakers. First, I take out my amp. I wanted to make sure it was safe and it lightens the speaker. It makes it easier to work with. Plus, I heard something inside rumbling around. Start taking this stuff off. Make sure you got yourself a nice spot to put all your your screws at. want to remember uh, the green and yellow wires you always want to remember which one comes off of which so before you even take any of this stuff off I suggest you take a picture of it so as you can see the green goes to the middle yellow goes to the side and then we got this little thing that screws in there and then this little power thing thing that sucker off like that set it aside now in order to get this subwoofer out you got to uh, take out these screws here around it but for right now I'm gonna go around and take out the screws to take the fastest in, in half split it but that's the only way to get this uh, tweeter out right here all right so as you can see here there's just two plugs here and two plugs here I'm going to take off right now and there's two plugs on the tweeter as well the tweeter just screws out like so now it was time to test my tweeter that wasn't working with a multimeter and compare it to the tweeter that was working in my other speaker. You put this baby on ohms right here, right where my index right there is pointing to. That's the ohm symbol. I have it on ohms. I'm going to turn that bad boy on like that. What you do is you take your little prongs here. When you connect these two together like so, you should get some sort of continuity, like they're connected together. You should read some sort of ohms. See, I'm not getting anything on this one, which is an indication. See, if I put it metal to metal, you should get something that's telling you that it, it's connected. So I busted the other one out. That was working on the other side of my speaker. And when I test this 
What do you know? What do you know? What do you know? I get some sort of connection. As you can see, no connection. Connection. All right. You might not be able to see it on this particular video. If you look closely here, you can actually see where it's fried. I'm going to take out this driver, which I just took out with these screws. It's not really coming out, but as good as the other one did. Oh, there it goes. It's interesting, because I can see that this actual one isn't fried like the other one. Next up, I compare my two amps side by side to see the location of the little part that fell out of one of my amps. I always heard something rambling when I picked up my speaker. I was wondering what it was. And on these amplifiers, there's the amplifier built in to the actual setup, the Eon 615 I'm working with here. So once I took that off, this little thing fell out. As you can see, this one is there. And on this one, it's missing. So this little thing right there. Don't know what it does, but it's probably important. I'll have to get a solder and solder that bad boy on. Before I ordered my new tweeter and subwoofer, I had to make at least one of my speakers work for a gig I had coming up the next day. So what I did is I took the tweeter out of this one that was working and I put it in this one. So this subwoofer works, that tweeter works. This subwoofer does not work. Next thing you know, oh, oh. Ain't that interesting, babe? Yes. I'm interested. I need to replace this, this tweeter here. I'm gonna do some testing on this subwoofer here. That's the next thing I'm gonna take off and test for the ohms and see if there's a connection. I have this 15 inch Eon 615 speaker, which model 615H. I guess I can just turn this around. JBL Professional, Northridge, California, made in Mexico, eight ohms. So that's basically what it should read when I do the test on here. So I have my multimeter set and it's not moving at all. That tells me it's burnt out inside here, just like the other tweeter is. So I just purchased a new speaker. It was $115 from a site called Full Compass. Receipt here, thank you for ordering with Full Compass. JBL 15 inch woofer for the Eon 615. It was free shipping, $115. Today, I had a tweeter come in in that box over there that my cat is trying to eat. Boy, you better get your face out of that screen, boy. Get out of here. So we're gonna open this baby up and I'll show you what's in the contents here. What's in the package. And it came fairly quickly. Uh, this website called Full Compass, I'll link it in the description of this video. Now I ordered the same exact speaker that was originally in my Eon 615 chassis. I did hear that you can, as long as it has the same amount of ohms and it has the same watts, like 1000 watt and eight ohms, that it will work. The connections might be a little different depending on what kind of speaker you get. Any kind of speaker will work if you just get the right ohms and the right wattage as the original speaker that's in your DJ speaker. Now, here it is guys. Compare that to my hand. This is a 15 inch speaker right here. I ordered this tweeter. As you can see here, this is the tweeter that goes on there. As I previously mentioned, I had a tweeter go out on me as well as the subwoofer. The idea is just to plug it in, screw it all up, and be done. Now it was time to take out the old subwoofer and install the new one, along with the new tweeter. Like that. And I can start to take out the subwoofer that's in here. actual speaker has some more screws to it. And here it is. 
here is the subwoofer that's broken. Installing the new subwoofer. Now the connection is going to be towards the top. Just make sure you put the speaker in the right way. I didn't get the original tweeter for this speaker. I went and got the same ohms, the same watts and everything. And as you can see, this is not the same. It was a lot cheaper. This was like double the price, but I wasn't gonna get it fast enough because I need this tweeter for a, a school prom I'm DJing soon. So I'm gonna install this. Make sure you watch out for this little uh, gasket here. It helps out when rain gets to your uh, speaker. Make sure it doesn't fall out on you. There's an LED right here. Make sure everything's connected here. They're both uh, different sizes. So obviously the big one goes on that side, the little one goes on that side. Got it nice and snug up in there. There. So now I can tighten that in there a little tighter where it's supposed to be. I mentioned before I had a piece fall off on me it was this piece right here and uh, I went and bought me a soldering iron um, and some solder lead free rosin core solder I'm gonna attempt to put this back onto the amplifier it was time to put my amp back in the speaker and hook it up wouldn't really think, oh, they wouldn't make it to where these wires could attach to the other wires, but they do. They do. Alright, so now I got that connected. I just lay it in there just like so. Now it was time to test my brand new powered loudspeaker with this brand new subwoofer and tweeter. Basically plug this into my laptop and into a XLR. I've talked about this on one of my other videos. My son just farted. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my speaker on now. We're gonna turn it on up. Now I'm not playing a song that's not allowed to be on the internet. I don't want to get flagged for anything. Hi, baby. Hi. And as you can hear, subwoofer's working, tweeter's working. So let's go to another beat I've made. smell that fart all the way from here, boy. <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo! All right, guys, so if you like what I just did, please give a nice like on this video. I'd appreciate it. It will help me create more videos, I'm sure. DJ Brian Charles signing out, y'all. Peace.